They've had about over a dozen different stadiums before they came here in 1914. In fact, they used to play at White City Stadium just above that end over there. And then they found themselves here at Loftus Road. We're actually in White City, London here, and the stadium kind of just pops up in the middle of the neighborhood. You wouldn't even know. You can see the lights up there hovering above one of the one of the houses right here in White City, London. So today we're gonna take a look. I'm joined with FIFA America, Jake here, along with Ryan, Awaken Atlas. Hello guys. And uh, we're looking forward to today's tour. So come with us on a QPR adventure. This is literally someone's house right here. And then turnstile number two just pops up on you. As we wind the corner right here, the park pops up on you. Now just imagine yourself on game day, walking down the street to see a QPR match. And here it is, famous Keon Prince Foundation Stadium, Loftus Road, as most people know it, it did change its name, is right here with the famous colors being blue and white. Of course, the hoops for QPR. So I'm here, I have access to QPR's tunnel dressing room. As we make our way down the tunnel, as you can see the greatest team at Keon Prince Foundation Stadium. Just some motivational taglines here, we're together. And you know, 1882 QPR, such a storied history. And making our way down, this is the dressing room of QPR. We'll go in there in a second. The away dressing room is to the right. And as you make your way down the tunnel, imagine yourself walking out as a player. Here we are, QPR. And the one thing that strikes me about QPR more than most stadiums is that there's no gaps in between the sections. So it makes for kind of a well-rounded atmosphere here. And the thing about QPR that's really interesting is that they've had over, it's really sunny here guys, I apologize. I should put on my shades. They've had about over a dozen different stadiums before they came here in 1914. In fact, they used to play at White City Stadium just above that end over there. And then they found themselves here at Loftus Road. Um, the atmosphere here is supposedly terrific. I'd love to come back for a game, um, but just the ability to come here and kind of immerse ourselves amongst, you know, this stadium is really, really an amazing opportunity. Right, what do you think? Yeah, it's really cool. We um, showed up. Walk straight out to the pitch. It looks very pristine. It's a very warm day here in London. We're gonna see the locker rooms. Um, I think the thing that really stood out for me is this stadium. I mean, I haven't seen all that many in the Greater London area yet. Is the fact that it's more so than any other stadium I've seen, literally like right in the backyard of many people. Their backyards back up into the stadium. If you go on the other side, as you might have seen in the earlier shots, it's it looks like uh, you're in someone's neighborhood. You'd have no idea there's a, a massive stadium for such a big club here. And one thing we were told was that in the 1960s and 70s, QPR actually had a, had a cat that was lived over there in the corner of, of the pitch. And to this day, the mascot is still a cat, um, which I thought was kind of cool. So straight ahead is the Loftus Road stand, actually in the opposing corner. That's not where the opposing fans sit. That's where the supporters of QPR sit. Ellis Lee's stand is right here because on the other side, and all four sides are surrounded by a road. And that's why you have the Loftus Road stand straight ahead. You have the Ellisley stand right here. And then behind us here is the school stand, followed by South Africa right here, um, where of course the media also sits, as well as the players right there pitch side at the center of the pitch. You can just kind of imagine yourself here play here in the championship or the Premier League because QPR has been up and down so many times over their storied history. Um, but truly, Queens Park Rangers Football Club. One of the more historic franchises in London, in English football, founded in 1882. And like I said previously, they've had about 14 different places or just over a dozen different places that they've played until they settled here at Loftus Road 
in just around 1917. Before that, it was Shepherd's Bush Football Club playing here in 1904. That club actually folded in 1915, and then in came two, three years later, QPR. One thing that kind of showcases how much of a fan supporters club QPR is, is that on the seats they have each individual season ticket holder's name going all the way up. Not just the front row, not just the second row, but all the way up there. As you can see, multiple stickers here scattered across the QPR Ellisley stand. So up here is where the press box sits during the matches. Not a bad view from way up here, I gotta say. Pretty close to the, to the roof, but you got a nice TV in front of you. You got a picture of the field, beautiful field here, QPR. directors, our owners and that will come and sit up pretty That's much awesome. within half time. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, it's not a bad life being a director or a chairman, being able to come here pre-match, post-match, get some drinks, sit down, have a nice meal with the White City as your backdrop. Of course, the field to our right. Uh, just a beautiful dining hall, honestly. That's what it is. Here's the concourse section. <laughs> Press director's guest. Make your way up here. Get the full tour here on State Soccer TV, so make sure to subscribe. Hit the like button here. Um, show your support for the channel, for QPR. W12 section, this is where the supporters sit, pre-match. Still not bad, very nice. Um, get some meal, get some drinks. Wouldn't bad being QPR supporter these days, honestly. Yeah, so you can a lot bigger than yeah. the other room. And accommodate. Here's the media suite to accommodate tons of media guests, personnel. Get a quick bite, something to drink, coffee, tea. And there's actually the school. We're talking about the school stand. You can see the school right there um, on the one road. And of course, here's where all the media members sit. Maybe a couple of players post match, stadium, or coach post match. If you're enjoying today's tour of Keon Prince Foundation Stadium, then make sure to hit like, subscribe to State of Soccer TV for more soccer, football tours around the globe, as well as you know game game match discussions and whatever you guys like. Comment below if you're enjoying today's tour. Look forward to hearing from you. So this is where the chairman enjoys his match day experience. As you can see from the tour so far, definitely the best room for the chairman. But expect nothing less. Play a little foosball here at the half. <laughs> All the QPR players who have represented their international club over the years, dating back from 1905. Um, interesting to take note of is it's mostly Ireland, England, Wales, Republic of Ireland, and then as you move forward, of course, it kind of expands to other countries as you know, English football becomes more international, and more players around the globe are coming in until the most recent player from Morocco. 
Time yes, this was a match worn QPR shirt from 1953. This was 1953? Really? Looks like it'd be like 1914 almost. That's what I think too, yeah. yeah. It almost looks like a blouse. Maybe like that was yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like the athletic, like that was breathable mesh at the time. Yeah, possible. Was the top of the technology. We had to um, change our badge because the upside down horseshoes is unlucky, apparently. Oh, really? Interesting. I didn't know so that. We changed our badge. And lastly, we have the home dressing room. You can see all the players' names up here, all display. Here's the way dressing room, the way locker room. One thing I want to mention is that there's only two urinals and one toilet, so if multiple guys have to go before the match, well, they have to decide, you know, who's starting, who's not. And then a little spacious in here, um, but once again, I, I would definitely kick the QPR dressing room over this one, um, especially with the toilet situation over there. Are you good? And well guys, that does it for today's tour here from Keon Prince Foundation Stadium. If you enjoyed today's tour, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button. Um, really enjoyed showing you guys around. Uh, once again, from Keon Prince Foundation Stadium, formerly known as Loftus Road, this is Data Soccer TV signing off. Have a good day everyone.